direction I've got to have this arm covered if he's got that as a base he's always going to be able to base so that is going to be the majority of the setups are going to be controlling one side of his body I like to go scissor sweep with the cross grip here not only because I like it for the setup but it plays into the cross collar choke game as well so I'm not going to go over that today but it does mean that you can mix the two up together I can go here and I can go here so I'm going to go cross grip on the collar I'm going to take control of his sleeve and then I'm going to open my legs and my aim is to get uh, my knees inside position here. So I'm going to open up, I'm going to base on the floor, enabling me to get a snake and get my hips out in this direction. I'm not only moving my hips out, I want them to face this direction here. So as I turn, my hips are now facing this direction. As I go to sweep him here, if my hips are facing up, I've got no power in this direction. It's very hard to like actually kick across. If I move my hips out to face this way, now I've got a lot of power coming in here. Much stronger going this way. So I'm going to make sure my hips are out, they're facing this direction. I've got these grips. Now as I go for the scissor sweep, what I don't want to do, if Jack sits back and keeps his weight in his butt, it's very hard for me to get here. If you're much stronger than the person, you might get away with it. But uh, if not, it's very hard to take his weight off. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull him towards me and I'm going to keep this nice and high across his, uh, across his chest and I'm going to pull him onto it here. So now I've got his weight loaded up here, his weight isn't in his legs. Obviously I've got to pull this arm, make sure he doesn't base here, but now the weight's off his legs, I can chop across here, chop across with this leg, pull him in, and get the scissor sweep there. Second he lands, I want to stay tight to him, there's a good opportunity for mount here. This foot should be on his hip, so I'm going to keep the foot nice and tight to his hip, I'm going to turn my hips to face down and come in nice and low. I don't want to leave space here, if he starts trying to throw knees in here and I come up, yeah you're going to end up in like single leg X or something crap. So I'm going to keep as low as possible with my, my hips, turn them to face down, slide across into the mount position. If you've still got this cross collar grip, again, it mixes in perfectly with the, the cross collar game. Watch this. Yeah, watch this. I'm going to start saying it to the ref. Look the ref in the eyes and tell him to watch what you're about. I should have done that with the eye. Look straight in the camera and go on. Now watch this. <laughs> Sat back for it. Sat back for it. Side. I'm going to base the other foot this time on the left hand side. I'm going to kick this leg up, uh, similar to like an omoplata movement here. So my aim is to kick this up and over. While I'm doing that, the second I've got his weight off, I'm going to pull his leg towards me and then I'm going to make sure his elbow doesn't touch the floor. So even the elbow here, he can save him in this position. I'm going to make sure this elbow stays on me, doesn't hit the floor. So kick up, over, pull the leg towards me. I'm going to stay super tight all the way through to this position. I keep this leg until I've settled my feet down here. Obviously, the second we land in mount, his aim is going to be trying to scoop up a foot into half guard or whatever. So I'm going to take advantage of having this grip in his leg. I'm going to hold it until I can tuck my feet right under his butt and then I can settle to this position. Time, guys. 
Grab a drink, line up if you're sparring. So what's the, what's the plan from here, gents? Call the fuck down. Attend to my black eye that managed to go. Thanks, bro. And then we're heading. Where are we going, Jack? We're going to Stuff by Carver. Stuff by Carver. What are we doing there? Eating air tight. Eating a lot of food. <laughs> Sausage goblin. Sausage swallow extraordinaire, right? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm well known, man. I think that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the title of the, the vlog. Sausage Gobbler. <laughs> Sausage Gobbler <laughs> extraordinaire. Sausage Gobbler extraordinaire. Sausage Gobbler extraordinaire. Respectful sport, in one. Call it Kazushi. Swallowing the sausage is exactly the same as Kazushi. Have you got any shorts for me? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Sorry, no, no, go on, they'll fit you. They won't, mate. Just, oh, well. no, no, to be fair, you need the size of. Fuck off, man. Yeah. Alright, cheers, guys. Make sure you smile. Okay, sorry, mate. Here you go. Put that one as well. That fucking. That would fucking fit you. Come on, mate. You know you've got that fucking soup. Have you not got any s'mores? Yeah. No, stop it. <laughs> no, that's all right. Uh, I don't order smalls because we don't have any children in the class. Go on, try mine. Get your sports with you. Right? So, stuff by Cartwrights, and they've got the shovel it down challenge, and did something like five sausage, five bacon, three or four black pudding, four eggs, four rounds of toast two fried bread, four hash browns. Three days later. Beans, tomatoes, mushrooms. If I eat it all in 30 minutes. Can you so, do it? Yeah, I am, yeah. Dave's, Dave's not convinced. Are you Dave? Today, but I'm pretty hungry. So I try not to throw up. But like Dave said, he's the, um... what are you Dave? The sausage gobbler. <laughs> sausage gobbler extraordinaire, self name, so. I'm going to see how much you can gobble down. <laughs> Why have you come to the shadiest car park possible? I mean, I it's and it's fucking... Oh, oh my god! Mind. Jesus Christ! And I didn't need to hit him there. Are you think... coming back after me now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's literally chasing you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, the professional eaters, apparently. Professional eaters? That's not me being a professional breather. Did <laughs> 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 you YouTube that quick? <gasps> so that, did another one. Maybe this be recorded. Maybe it's mine. Maybe I should sack off the duty so they just eat stuff. I've fucking got a bit of chance of being good at it, yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you probably know, I'm starting to get there. No? I think you're right. I think you should get pictures like this. I'll probably do it. I've got a photographer, but he doesn't do fucking anything. <laughs> people came in and sort of breezed through it. Now, it was never meant to be like a challenge breakfast, but a few of the people that came in and were eating stuff on a regular basis were like, would you do a challenge? So yeah, we sort of like took the feedback, asked people what they wanted us to put on it. I, I undernarded with the chips because I 
can agree with a lot of people, chips don't belong on a breakfast, but the triple cooked chips are something that a lot of people come here specifically for. So, yeah, you've got to play to your strengths. <laughs> but yeah, people seem to like them. Um, even Kyle versus Food when he came, joked at the start of his video that chips don't belong on a breakfast, and then when he finished, it was like, chips are incredible. <laughs> you were all about it, neither did that. Yeah, I'll smash it. I thought it was going to be a either. longer rolls meeting than the ICC. <laughs> Don't gobble all the sausages at once. <laughs> <laughs> One sausage in your mouth at a time. To be fair, if they're smaller than six inches, I can swallow it whole. <laughs> James always dresses like me, you know? Yeah, once a bit, yeah. I know. He's only 80 kilograms and five foot two. He's never going to make it. Right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. You all got nerves and shit? I'm not, yeah. I'm like Vandalay rolling in my wrist and stuff, and I'm smashing all that. Take competition seriously, <laughs> Jack. I take competition seriously. I don't, say, oh, I don't win bronzes. Yeah. All you've got to do is eat. It's not that hard. Give it in jiu-jitsu. All you've got to do is bend somebody's knee. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but the, the food's not fighting your back. It's literally already dead. <laughs> that fight's already happened. That's actually quite a lot of fun. I had to worry, that's about half of it. Sausages are bigger than I thought. You're doing a lot of sausages, aren't you? Little bit. Yeah, just pop those out of the way for you. That's bigger than my sausage. Put that in there. Never said that. Eggs, not to worry. Uh, now, your beans and tomatoes are refillable, but if you ask for a second ramekin, some people like to try and tip the tomatoes over them, thinking that if everything is wet, they get it down easier. If you want to go take that tactic, you can, but if you ask for a second ramekin, it also has to be finished. So it's 30 minutes, everything must go, and your timers start now. It's a lot of food, though. It's a lot of food. I'm just realising that it's a lot of food. It's tiny shot. You've grown your confidence towards the end. Mine's, mine's bad. I can see the end. The end's inside, but I'm going to do it. This is why you can't double like people in competition. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Ride or die at this point. We just keep that ball handy. You just go to the wall with it. I can't do it. <laughs> Four minutes. Can't fast enough, man. Just put water in your mouth. Have your water. One minute thirty, Dave. Water. Go on, coach. You can do this. He's got time to follow. I'm still hungry, man. <laughs> you know, I, Dave, you can do it. I'm actually still hungry. I can't. You can. Fun. You can eat that bread if you put it in your mouth. Water. Here's the water. Okay. Just put it in your mouth, go. go. Oh, God, I remember that wasted five seconds. Can I have another mayo? Please? Just get that in. That's it. Uh -huh. Minute left, Dave, you're up on points. Been like a oh, Like okay. a duck. Zips it. Tired of swallowing. There you are, Jess. You're better than me. Right, I'll just silence those for you. It's just a lap of shame now. No, there's no shame in it. If you can finish it, you'll still be the first person who's actually finished the challenge. I can finish it. Except for that girl. Well, yeah. 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 General members of the public. Nine minutes, she did it. Anyone. Yeah. 
Her, her video goes live on YouTube tonight at 7 o'clock. Um, her name's Mia Shakira. She's got 28 world records for I think we've just seen her. I think I've seen her. Yeah, she was here. She's got um, long dark hair. Yeah. She's she got a bronze medal at the World Series Open. So we had one chapter. <laughs> she came yeah, oh, she's tiny. Oh, just hit the wall. There's a picture of me <laughs> on my Instagram. You can get it. Just I'm just going to run back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, she did say that she fasts in the um, she, what she I had breakfast. I did not plan ahead for this. I did, I did well. I'll be honest. Dave Weston leading from the front. We're getting so happy, Bryce. I'm still hungry, bro. <laughs> but she said she was again. I'm Ooh. hungry, man. Do you want to eat mine? <laughs> no, Dan, you cut there. I so much swallowed that bread. I'm going in the back. I'm going to try and eat a piece of this. You know, I thought you'd do that. Might get about 41 minutes. An hour. Could have done with the break. Right. Really. Still the first person who's ever finished it, and I think that's. Oh, there you are, Bert. Thank you very much. Enjoy the spoils as the first person to finish it. I'll do that tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. How do you feel? I don't know how pregnant women feel. I don't know my stomach. Why is it turn? It's going to come out. It's a brand's made look like challenge. I'm still hungry. I fear I've bad decisions. Third floor. But I'm about to die. What the fuck does that say? Yours? Oh. Sniff me. God, I'm a savage. You fudge. Oh, no. Grab. It's awful, awful parking. Well, I was defeated. God. I'm so full. Oh. I think I'll do this face on purpose, but it's involuntary. That's how uncomfortable I am. If I stand up too fast, I will shit myself. No, I'm good. I'm still hungry. <coughs> Honestly, I'm still hungry. I could eat. I can't eat. Let's get your cake. Yeah. Oh, if you can keep the cake. Oh. I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, oh, did it right in there? Oh, oh God, that's it. Oh, oh God, honestly, that is so full. Oh, that's the hardest I've ever been. <laughs> is it kicking? It's full. I feel like I know what Eddie Hall feels like all the time now. Oh my god. Here we go. Why ah. well, didn't matter so much with the other one? This time, hand placement's going to uh, affect things. So, as I place my hands down on the floor, I'm going to get either side of his body here and here. This one should land in an underhook. What I'm going to want to do is come underneath this one here and connect my hands together behind his head. So, I've almost got double unders here. Well, now I've got the blunders, I can lean forwards, I can flatten his shoulders out. I don't want him on his side. I want him nice and flat. From here, everything else is going to be in the legs. So I want to get my right leg now in front of his, in front of his leg that's here. This leg's going to come in front and then I'm going to turn to face my hips backwards. So I'm coming in front and turn to face my hips backwards. From here, I want to go to the mouth, but again, I've got to be super paranoid about this half guard situation. The way to avoid it is to turn backwards with my legs, scoop, this foot's back, drag it right on the floor, lift his legs up, sneak him on the foot underneath. Now it's underneath, I'm like guaranteed the mount position, I can turn here into this position. I've got double under, so I can start climbing, sorry bro. Start climbing into the armbar position or whatever you want to do from there. <coughs> Throw it on the edge, it's a good position. So I'm in here, here, facing the hands, coming over, going double under, connecting the hands here, and flattening him out nice and heavy. 
bring this leg in front of his knee, face my hips backwards, drag his legs up, connect my feet underneath his legs and then turn, mount position and attack whatever you want to attack from there. Obviously, there's a lot more steps to this one, a bit harder to do, but like jiu-jitsu competition, that's seven points, that's, you'll win a fight with that many points. In reality, I mean, you should be winning the submission, really. But if it comes to points, seven's normally enough to win. What if they do back to you? seven on Obviously, so you won't win. <laughs> so I'm coming here, stupid questions aside. Come underneath, connect the hands. This is the tricky bit, is bringing this leg across, not just in front of this knee, but also staying heavy on top. So as long as I keep this leg nice and low, this bit's all easy. Come in front, here, turn back. Scoop up the legs, connect my feet together, turn back down, lift his arms up nice and high. Probably perfect opportunity to go straight to mounted arm bar or whatever you want to try and like to stop here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have a go, make sure you're asking if you're struggling. Come on bro, you look sexy as fuck on this film. Oh yeah, oh! Looks like he's getting fucking mauled by a Rottweiler. Close. <laughs> I am joking. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look, I've called. I think that's not first story. I'm going to jump now, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 